such as things were happening on the payroll. Chairman did not listen to me. He just he kept the diff ear. We have a failed system. Corruption is in, in the entire Uganda. Mobilizing money to give to the external auditors. People are hiding behind the big fish. It's the first district in corruption. It's been a big shame. Ntunga Moi is a special district. If I don't have charity at home, then there is no charity in the country. Stained, dirty, and this visibly torn mattress has been Batista Vialhanga's sickbed for the last three days in this emergency ward at Truvalle Health Centre 4. Batista lies helplessly in this emergency ward after a robot attack. Ever since I got here, I have not received any help, not even a single assistance. It is only a friend that bought me the medicines have been using. Batista and many others at this health facility have gone unattended to because of lack of medical care and drug stockouts at this hospital. Ntungamo district has a cocktail of health problems. The only what we received is only this one, one bed from Itosu Hospital. Ghost health centers, ghost health workers. Mauda Bachigamba, a resident of Nyanga Sub County in Intungamo District, has not accessed health care for this tumor for close to a year now. Bangandra Munzum Basha Abahi Guru Kanu Mantini Kasente Kukun Tuare. Mauda and many other residents within this district face these challenges on a daily basis. Last year, the health monitoring unit released a damning report of how district officials were stealing from the sick. According to the report, close to 50 billion Uganda shillings was lost to ghost human resources for health, ghost health facilities, medication stockouts, and lack of accountability to district funds. My name is Henry Mugenyi. I'm a health reporter with Next Media, attached to NBS Television and now Post News. And as a health reporter, this is disturbing information and I decided to follow up with the story. There were so many revelations that really uh, intrigued me to go down to Ntungamo. For example, they cited that a lot was happening in the district and in regards to the ghost health workers that were happening. This report cited them of how it really came about and also the ghost health facilities, a number of them, but also when you go to ground, you really get to understand what the report was talking about. Uh, the mismanagement of health facilities in Ntungamo is one of the key things that was talked about in this report. Also, uh, the rudeness of health workers uh, in Tungamo district when people go to these health facilities to access services, the kind of treatment that they go through was also highlighted in this particular report and so many other things. Tungamo district is located in western Uganda and this is the ancestral home of President Chori Kagutam Seveni and his wife. To many Ugandans, it is a wish to help from this district. However, the first district of this country is a hub of corruption, poor health facilities, influence peddling, and a total lack of accountability. It's the first district in corruption and the misuse of government funds. We have a failed system that cannot capture things that are needed, but at the same time cannot also capture things that are falling apart. And this is very serious for the health system. We need some very competent, fearless, independent, individuals in these different uh, um, institutions of government to go into in Tungamo and, um, and actually beyond because it appears this was also not only in Tungamo and capture exactly what happened, who were the individuals that were receiving this money for non-existent health facilities. NBS Investigates is a fearless, bold and competent team and we take the journey into Ntungamo to find out who is stealing the money, how and why.